I'll take three. See if it works this time. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Trap, having a hard time with my camera, with my vehicle, with a lot of stuff right now. So not much in the mood to do work. So I figured I'd do a little bit of review on this Krieger sluice. Now this is a reverse drop riffle technology and I've already run this thing and it's I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed very happy with it it keeps extremely fine gold I'm gonna be running this black sand from Lake Superior and that's what it has extremely fine gold as you're seeing in the picture right about now so we'll go ahead and do that it's gonna be running off from a 750 gallons per hour pump and right now I'm waiting for my Dakota lithium battery to charge up so I can hook it up right to you. Get back to you in a sec. Okay, so what do you get? Everything you see here, the stand, the sluice, the crash box and the plumbing all comes with it. I did add a longer section of pipe here. It just happens to be the same type of same size I use. But originally it was that that section there. So you can I mean this stuff's not expensive at all. So you can modify that. And it comes with a pump, that section of hose. And this crash box. I like this crash box puts out a nice even flow really nice even flow alright so we'll open up the bubble level running at 8.7 pitch and it's nice and level the other way and of course this valve I have, I don't know, it's shut off a ways. So, I mean, this 750 gallon per hour pump, you could probably, I don't know if you could go with less. I don't know, I don't know what other pumps would come close. I don't know, but anyway. So, I've got this, it's a two point or two and a half quart bucket. Not quite half full, we'll go ahead and run through that and let you see how quick you can go through some, and this is just black sand, so we'll let you see how quick you can go through that. It chews it up pretty good. So I'll get back to you in a sec. Alright, got it all up and running, and I'm not going to go over loss rate and all that stuff, but let's see. 448 right now. See how long it takes us to go through this. I mean, by the time you get another spoonful, you can go ahead and start adding it. Like I said, this is straight black sand. I'll leave a link to Tyler's YouTube channel. He has videos on there. It's his dad's invention, but they work together on it. And Tyler does all the videos. And he'll go over capture rate, loss rate, and all that stuff with you. I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna try to get into that myself. I myself, I like it. It's far better than what I made and was using because I can't, I can't run material this quickly with what I made. Some of you have seen it. It's nice and everything, but just not as fast. I 
like production. <laughs> Trying to do two things at once here. Come on. There you go. I'm also going to be able to bring this to the, uh, well, one place I'm kind of anxious to bring it to is the private property. There are spots where there's sands, and I know there's gold in it. It's going to be all really fine gold, but this thing will chew right through that sand like nothing. And also the dry riverbed that's over there. I'll just have to go down to the river and haul water to it. Set up a recirculating system like this right there. Classify a bunch of material. And he says you can run, you know, classify it down to half inch. It'll go through any rocks that get hung up. You just kind of pick them off without sticking your finger in the cells but you'll see that on his videos if you go to his channel. They're working on a prototype to a large model now because this you can't, I mean, you can bring it to the river, you can take this crash box out and set it right in the river, but it's not a real production sluice as far as running material at the river goes. I myself do not like to classify. I've become spoiled with my Green Mountain Gold traps. The only time I classify is when I can't get a setup right near where I'm digging. And I'll classify to maximize the amount of material I'm bringing to the gold trap. And quite often I'll set up the jet sled right near the gold trap and I'll classify a half of a five gallon bucket, bring it over to the jet sled, dump it in, go back, classify more, come back, dump it in. That way I'm not bringing a bunch of waste material. Like I said, I like production.
eight minutes. Took eight minutes to run that. So, I'll let this clear out a little bit. And then I'll get it into a pan and we'll see what we got. Alright, let's do this. Sure, they're not nuggets. Haven't found mine yet, but I'm not going to give up looking. Okay, so that's all I have for material. I'll go ahead and work that. you know what's in the pan. You put some jet dry in the water though. Back in a bit. Okay, same pan, same material. I just peeled back the, uh, the remainder of the little pebbles that were in there. place to set my tripod so you can see what I'm doing but we shall see what's in here I'm already seeing tiny gold showing up off the corner over here going to try to keep every little tiny piece mm, see some fairly decent sized ones for Lake Superior. And as many of you know, the camera that you're watching through right now sucks on focusing and showing gold, so I'll be using my smartphone to Hopefully show you what's in here. Hopefully you'll be able to see the, the small gold.
sure I'm losing some down in here. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to get the smartphone and show you what we're seeing in the black sands. I'll leave that right there. Don't fall. Where is the smartphone? Okay. And here we go. Right. I'm going to take this over to the other table. Workbench. See it all in there? A lot of fine gold. And of course we've got, where are we here? Some bigger, another bigger piece. But all up in there is loaded with fine gold. So, as you can see, that Krieger sluice, it keeps that really, really, I mean, micro dots. I mean, that's like uh, baby flies, uh, tick turd, fly poop, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, it's uh, powder. <laughs> powder. But anyway, I thank you all for watching. Go to, uh, like I said, I'll leave a link for Tyler's channel, the Krieger Sluice, official, I guess it's the official YouTube channel. And go check out their videos. Um, they they don't have the site set up right now. They're working on it, and hopefully by spring they're going to be into uh, having the site up and running, and maybe even have that larger prototype all nailed down and have bigger models that they can sell as well. So go check them out. Take care, everybody. Oh, I'm still filming over here. Ha, ha, ha.